Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Headbanger Rips here with a little throwback episode of some vintage packs. Um, last time I ordered my Gissy box I got quite a few vintage packs and probably overdid it, so I thought this time I would keep it very small and very uh, quick, but with a good range of finding uh, what old products look like. So we have only six packs, uh, we have a 1989 uh, Tops football. We have an Upper Deck 1991, uh, Upper Deck 1994, two packs of Score 1993, and one pack of Upper Deck 1995, which is a hobby pack. Whether that means anything particular, we will find out. So I think we will just go in date ascending order. Um, I think that will do nicely. There is gum in this. I will not be trying it. But this, it, I kind of feel a bit bad opening this because this is the year I was born. So we have cards here that are 30, coming up for 33 years old. Um, but there are lots of them. It's probably an overproduced one. I think it's only cost me a few dollars. But let's have a look and see what we got all the way back in 1989. I hope you're having a good weekend, um, looking after yourselves. Oh, so the gum's not actually in a wrapper, which is really disappointing. So there'll be some cards here that are a bit not great, shall we say. But we have a thousand yard club in Bruce Hill. We have a Tops All Pro in Bruce Matthews. We have a Gary Cobb for the Cowboys, Mark Clayton for the Dolphins, Keith Ferguson for the Lions. We have a Bears, Sanders changes pace. Uh, we have a Mike Tomshak for the Bears. We have Ruben Mays for the Saints. We have Marion Barber for the Jets. We have uh, Dino Hackett, but I want to say Dino. Randall Cunningham for the Eagles. Nice. The PC there. Raiders, Allen through the line. Uh, we have a Chris Dolman, Dave Krieg, John Telchik, and a Dolphins Marino high and far. So uh, the backs of these cards, you can see where the gum's been sat on it for 30 years, 30 plus years. But that's what you get, you get a little info on the back. Very nice, very simplistic, but that's what you got a lot of back then. Um, special 1000 yard club glossy insert, so that will be this glossy slice right here. Nice little red back, 1000 yard club, lovely. Pack number two, our upper deck 1991. not open too well. Let's see what we get. We have Jerry Holmes, Keith McKellar, Anthony Munoz, a backwards card in Stephen Baker. I don't think backwards cards really meant too much then, but we do have the collector's choice. V Wells, I think that says there. Eric Metcalf, yes, by Vernon Wells. Um, okay, don't know what that tick box is about, but I think that's just all the ones in this set you can get of the Browns. But nonetheless, quite a nice artistic card. Then we've got a Dan Don Mosbar. We have Jay Novacek, over 100 flips. Mike Munchak for the then Oilers. Chris Singleton, Dennis Bird. Brian Blades, it's a great name. And Billy Joe Tolliver. I like doing these vintage ones. I, I really enjoy opening up old products and seeing what old products look like. Um, 
and, and there'll probably be a part of me that wants to collect a set. I think that was the 96 collector's choice uh, Excalibur. Had some really nice inserts that I was interested in. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see what these look like. This is 1993 score. You're looking for the franchise as an insert. I would show you what's on the back of them, but where they're individual packs, I mean, it's kind of kind of futile, really. Uh, if we get something, we can have a look at the back of the pack and see if it's got any kind of short print to it. But we'd be very lucky. Uh, Tom Rathman. He's a slightly hard to read. Wyman Henderson. Kurt Gouvier. Eric Williams. Do you have, oh, you know what, we're going to stick that to the back just as some kind of insert card. Who knows? Donnell Wolford. Cleveland Gary. But he's for the Los Angeles Rams. How disappointing. I wouldn't mind getting a Cleveland Gary Cleveland card. Did he ever play for them? Who knows? Looks like he was a solid player, though. We've got Irving Fryer, Jim Everett, a Hall of Famer's Larry Little. I don't like anything that's Hall of Fame. WWE Hall of Fame this weekend. Just got the Undertaker's speech to go, but it's one of my favourite things, so I really should look more into the Football Hall of Fame. Maybe that'll be something I've put in for this year. Jason Hansen. I was about to say Jansen Hansen then. Pat Swilling. I'm sure he's willing. Ken Harvey, terrible dad joke. Michael Brooks, Carl Clifton, and Dan Salomua. Butchered that name. And our black card is a Thurman Thomas Men of Autumn. I like the look of that. That's very nice. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's got any short print to it, but nonetheless, Thurman Thomas and a nice looking card. See what's that? Men of Autumn. Don't tell you what the breakdown of this is. Wow. So I did this off camera. Um, I will do it again on camera. So I'm just having a look at this to see if there's anything about what short print there is, and it just gives you a bit of life advice. Be strong. Don't do drugs. Thanks, man. I won't. Uh, it doesn't say anything on there about anything short print, um, but. Nonetheless, that's a nice looking card. I see um, another. Uh, you know, I can't seem to separate that. That is stuck, so I'll just stick it at the back. We have um, Ronnie Harmon, Mike Brim, John L. Williams, Sean Gilbert, Quentin Coriat, <laughs> Larry Little. How disappointing. I buy two packs and they get the same Hall of Fame with them. Jason Hampson, who I've already had, so I think I've put these in the wrong pile. Yep. This would be bad if it was the same pack and I've not realised. Jeff Wright, don't think it is. Amp Lee, I like that name. Gary Zimmerman, Anthony Parker, Marv Cook, Mike Saxon, Jackie Slater. I will separate this card on the back. Oh, look, okay, so we've got like, that's a well stuck card. We might have two inserts here of note. So we'll stick to the black one because I think it might be another Men of Autumn. It is. And this time we've got Brad Baxter. And I don't know what this is on the back. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, that is terribly stuck pretty much to the back of the Baxter card. So it's kind of destroyed it. But we did have a f the franchise Emmett Smith on the back there, 6 of 28. So that's a shame. That was, um, imagine that. Let's take off camera. Yeah. I imagine that would have been a nice card without all the um, the paint being ripped off. But <clears throat> there we are. That's what one of the run one of the risks you run 
when you're buying products that are 25, 30 years old. Um, this one does seem to have some kind of short prints in there. This is 1994. One silver electric insert per pack. Find the exclusive Hollow View Pro card, Pro Bowl card. Well, if I do, that would be one heck of a find. Okay, so like that little measure electric card, and it is a Howard Ballard. One silver electric card. Uh, backwards Bryant Young. There's our star rookies. Hadn't even noticed rookies in the other packs. And then we've got a Lewis Tillman. I'll do these individually because they're all turned around and whatnot. We have Tony Bennett. <coughs> Irving Fryer, Kerry Cash, oh, I've made a mess of these piles already, but that's fine. We have Bubba McDowell, quite like that name actually. Got Bobby Hebert for the Falcons. Leroy Thompson, and a couple of mixed ones. So, uh, Chris Mims, photography is fairly alright for this one, an improvement on previous years. Randall Cunningham again, another Eagles card, and a Cody Carlson for the Oilers. So, our last pack is our Predictor Upper Deck 1995 Hobby. There are some things there, but if you want to, you can pause it, but we've only got the one pack. I failed, neglected to have a look to see whether I was ever buying these from individual card sellers, or if they were from um, like online card shops and selling through eBay. I feel it does make a difference. <clears throat> but there we are. So I quite like this. Special edition. That is... Red blank. It's not easy to read. But it looks like... Oh, okay, that's a nice card. I've got the star rookie in Kyle Brady. There's a little crop top there. We have a Mark Brunel. He was traded to the Jags. A little stuck together here. We have Leroy Butler, Wayne Martin, Willie McGuinness, we have a backwards card here, doesn't look like it makes a difference again, William Floyd, we have Christian, oh, sorry, Chester McLaughlin for the Raiders. We have Terry Kirby for the Dolphins. Michael Haynes for the Saints. And the f oh, we've got two cards here. We've got one Seattle Seahawks, another Brian Blades. Very nice. And then Tim Brown for the Oakland Raiders. So, a little selection. Um, I, I might have kept some of these in, in the right pile. I've kind of lost track. I've only got two piles, base and not base, but there we are. A Hall of Famer, Larry Little, the Collector's Choice, Bobby Brown, Eric Metcalf for the Browns. Why did I say Bobby Brown? Who knows? Bruce Hill, Thousand Yard Club, your star rookie and Carl Brady. Bryant Young in a star rookie card. Uh, your Silver Electric, Howard Ballard. What would have been a very nice card of Emmett Smith. Your Men of Autumn, Brad Baxter, and another Pete Hall of Famer card. A Thurman Thomas, Men of Autumn. Knock the camera again, why don't you? And a Dan Salomua. Don't know why that was in that pile, but there we are. 
Uh, I quite like doing that. I think in that format it works a little bit better. You can see the cards um, without having to see too much of one product, particularly if that product's not very good. So let us know what you think. Do you collect vintage cards? Do you like uh, pulling open some of the really old product? If you have, what have you managed to find? Um, I think that's part of the beauty is that you're not necessarily looking for money in terms of a great rookie or anything like that. For me, certainly. It's about just finding some nice looking cards, uh, preferably of players I know, but it doesn't have to be. And then always anything for the Philadelphia Eagles is going to be a PC. So that will do for today, guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Look after yourselves, stay safe and love life.